Today's news. CBS News on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. A mass hyper happening now. Top members of the Biden cabinet are meeting with Mexico's president to, quote, discuss ways to continue humanely managing our shared border while enforcing our laws. CBS's Nicole Scalia is at the White House. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas huddled with Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador to discuss the flow of migrants at the U.S. border. As many as 10,000 migrants a day have approached the border this month, straining resources. Most are coming through Mexico from Central and South America. Lopez Obrador has called on Congress to pass an aid package to support the country for migrants who flee. Heavy snow in parts of the U.S. is now in the rear view. National Weather Service meteorologist Zach Taylor with what's next. The big storm system that brought a lot of snow and ice and other impacts across the plains in the Midwest is uh, winding down. We're still looking at the threat of just some very light snow accumulations through tomorrow morning across portions of Missouri, uh, including the St. Louis metro area. Roads appear busy coast to coast this week with many off from work. KNX Radio's John Baird from Southern California. The reason for the crowded roadways is simple. Some people are coming home from a Christmas get-together with family or friends and others are just leaving town to ring in the New Year's. So some people tell me they'll stay at home and sit this one out. You, you don't want to go anywhere during this kind of crush? Never. <laughs> Ever. You Never. don't do it. I don't do it. I'm, I live out here, so I'll be here for the holidays. Is that good or bad? It's great. <laughs> for the next few days, the advice is, if you're going on a trip, leave early or leave late. Outside LAX, more than a dozen protesters were detained after blocking traffic in support of Palestinians amidst the Israel-Hamas war. <laughs> That is what it sounded like near JFK Airport in New York. Roads also blocked there by Palestine supporters. Police there say 26 people were arrested after blocking one of the main highways into that busy airport. The father of the Highland Park, Illinois parade shooting suspect files for bankruptcy. WBBM's Bernie Tafoya. Robert Primo Jr. has filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy protection. He's also facing lawsuits from several families of victims of the 4th of July shooting in 2022. Primo was released from jail a couple of weeks ago after serving 27 days of a 60-day sentence. He had pleaded guilty to reckless conduct for helping his son get a firearm owner's ID card, even though he knew his son could be dangerous. His son's trial is set to begin in February. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on the Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 63 degrees in Lafayette, California.